Good afternoon. We will look at a binomial distribution problem. And uh, the way to approach these is to take into account the binomial distribution equation, which is as such n c x. So this is the total number of the sample, and then the amount chosen to have a particular success. And then what we will do is we will multiply that by P being the probability of a success, in this case, 9% defect rate. So the defect rate is the success in this case. It's a bit confusing there, but uh, bear with me. So this is P to the X, so the number that we are expecting to have the defect. And then we will also multiply that by our Q value to the N minus X. So this is our total population, seven, and then however many that we will want to choose from that population. So um, there is a fast way and a long way to do this problem. So let's go over the long way first. So we have seven in our sample size, and we want to choose at least one to have a defect. So we have a probability of a defect at 0 0.09. And we want at least one of these to have the defect. So that means that we just need to subtract this value from 1. So this will be 0.91% chance of it not having a defect. And then this will just be the remainder of the sample size. So 1 plus 6 equals 7. Both of these need to equal 7, and both of these need to equal 1. And that is always the case. So this is the probability of just finding one defect out of all 7. Now it wants us to ask at least one. So the long way to do this would be to do 7, choose 2, and then do the same numbers as before for our probability values. The tooth power, 0 0.091, and now we are doing it to the fifth power. And we'll do all of these up to 7, and then add them all together. And then whatever we add together, that's going to be the probability that at least one will have a defect. However, this is the long way to do it, so uh, not the expert way to do it on a test or a quiz. So um, what we would do is approach it from the back end and then say, let's look at the probability of finding no defects in the entire lot that we have selected. So that would be 7 choose 0. And then find the probability that 0 have a defect multiplied by the probability of all of them not having a defect. So this is 0 0.91 to the seventh power. So we will find this value, which is essentially, this turns into a one because it's to the zero power. You can find the, the NCX function on the calculator, TI-84. It is math, go to probability, go down around 3, NCR, and then type in 7 NCR 0. Get a value for that, which is 1. So that's the amount of combinations that 0 can be chosen out of 7. Uh, makes sense that there's only one combination for that. And we multiply that by our 0.91 value to the 7th power, and then we get this 0 0.517 number. So this is the probability of zero defects occurring. We want the probability of at least one occurring. So we take this, subtract it from one, which will give us the inverse probability of what we had just solved for. And this will give us something along the lines of 0 0.483. So we just saved a lot of work there by only having to do one calculation instead of the whole stream of nine, and we just subtract from one at the end. Thank you so much for listening. If you need any more guidance, my Wizen page is listed below, and I'll be more than happy to work with you in the future.
Thank you.